we're going to start some video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today's video, we are building a pug requested by Xabman7. So thank you so much for the request, buddy. I really do appreciate that. It was super, super duper fun to actually go and build this pug. Uh, he looks pretty cute, to be fair. Um, <laughs> he's got a little bow down here as well. I don't know what's going on down here. It's like a shadow down there. Uh, my bad. I think it's like a game glitch, but it's cool. It looks cool. And from a distance, it looks pretty funky. It's quite, it's quite a funky looking build. Uh, from from back here as well, you can see the little wrinkles in his uh, his collar there as well, which is just cute. It looks quite funky. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would build this in pixel art because I was trying to build it like a a normal sized dog. I was trying to build him like over there somewhere, and uh, like with the four legs and stuff. And I was really struggling because I personally don't own a dog. My my grandparents do. Um, so I was trying to go off references of other dogs, <laughs> and it was pretty tricky. So I just kind of decided to make a pixel art instead. So I hope you like it, mate. Uh, thank you so much for the request once again. Let's go ahead and uh, get building this right away. Alright then guys, so first thing we need to do is make sure we have the right materials. So we're going to need some stripped birch wood. We're going to need some light blue concrete. We're going to need some brown terracotta. We're going to need some black concrete. Some white concrete. And some stripped jungle wood for his kind of wrinkles at the top there. So what we need to do first of all is we need to find a nice big space. This actually, the diameter of the bottom is about 32 blocks long. So you need to make sure you have a big space where you can build this pug. I'm going to build mine in front of this one just in case I need to refer back at any point. So we're going to go for about here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Perfect. And then we go up by two for these ones. Um, what you want to do as well, guys, is for your pug. I made mine, as you can see, all the stripped wood is going straight up to the to the ceiling there, to, to the sky. So we need to make sure that it all goes straight up instead of going like that way like it's going now. We do not want it to look um, like actual timber. We want it to look like fur. I mean, you guys could actually alternate between which way you want your wood to go. For mine, I'm going to make mine go and face upwards which it is a bit of a hard task you might have to go back afterwards to replace some blocks but if you can get it in now whilst you're doing this it might save you a little bit of time and you might just have to place one at a time instead of just like going along filling in massive spaces at one point so it does take a little bit of a long time so if you guys wanted to you know just go straight for it that's totally cool so now we have this sort of shape here this two high uh, 32 blocks we need to go on the 13th one on the left side so we need to go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 just here as you can see this is exactly where the bow lines up so what we need to do is we're going to come a block out from the actual build and we're going to go up by about a uh sorry we're going to go up by six one two three four five six and we're going to do this twice like so then we're going to go in a block on both sides, this only becomes four, like that. Then we're going to put two, two, and two for three blocks, like so, as you can see on the original. Then we're going to make that four shape again. There we are, and then we're going to make the two lots of six going straight up. So you should have a little bit of an angled down sort of line here, like so. So that looks pretty cool. And now the bow is finished. So what we can do next is we're actually going to take our brown terracotta and we're literally going to mark out the rest of the pug, so the entire face where everything is going to go. So a block in from the 32, we're going to go up by two. Then we're going to leave a block, this one, we're going to knock this one off, go along by like two blocks of that. And we're going to go up by about three, so one, two, three, like so. Then on this corner down here, we're going to drop down and put one diagonal like so. Come up to the top of this three weird looking L shape. And we're going to go in a block and put two, like so. Come down diagonally from this one, this block of two, and put a one. From the one, go down diagonally and put a two. From this two, go down, drop down, oops, and put a one. Just in like so. Wicked. Now here what we need to do is come out again from this two and go up by three. Now from the three, we go up diagonally and go up two. And then we go in by two. Diagonally, of course. Then what we do is we go up and diagonally like, like that. Then we make this weird looking shape just like so, like this one. Now this is where I always get confused myself, so just please bear with me. What we need to do is actually just kind of angle it out. So we need to go four blocks along the top of that weird shape we've just made. Then here we need to go five, so on this point, not overhanging this time. One, two, three, four, five, like so. 
So as you can see, we're just about there. You see that road just there? So we need to angle out another block. Like this. Now for this one, we go out another block on the left side like this if I need to take a break if you guys need to pause the video at any point please feel free to do so it is absolutely no problem at all now what we do is we come in a block again and we feed it all the way to the back and then here we take our last kind of block going in we go along and then connect it up that one then we stick two blocks on the end there so we're leaving a one block gap just there I may have done this too small so what we need to do here is we need to make sure that we go for as you can see one two and then three and then it goes into the top so one two and then we need to add one more block so that's fine going along and there we go we should have our three one two and three yeah kind of three steps like that it's a good way of thinking about it making sure you leave two blocks on here not three and then one block this side there we go that is one ear done it is quite confusing so if you do need to pause the video like i said please feel free to do so it is absolutely no problem at all now from this point we need to go up diagonally and go along by two then here we need to go along by four and diagonally. So one, two, three, four. Then here, this gets a bit tricky. We, I think we need to go along by about eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's best to, to double check everything just in case. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we drop down and do the basically the opposite of what we've just done. Well, the same on the opposite side. So another four, but down diagonally, of course. Then we go down and we do a two. And then here what we do is we drop down uh, diagonally once again and we go down by four blocks just here as you can see one two three four five oh my bad five <laughs> wow good dog i check one two three four five yeah i never like to make mistakes but i always end up making like at least one so i do apologize to anyone who is new around here it is my bad and then we just drop down by two here and then we can drop down by two once again like so and now, of course, on this final two, we can actually just stick the one there. Come along for our four. Come along for our five. And then we can do a six, like a seventh one, seven long one just here. And now that kind of is the uh, second to last point. So there we go. There's that point. This one can join up to the other side, like so. Then we can start angling it back up into this shape over here, making sure we have three lots of the steps. One, two, three, perfect. Now we can put our two in here. And there we go. Awesome source. <laughs> it's pretty funky. It's pretty derpy looking pug. Now we can drop down from this weird point here and drop down by two. Then we can drop down diagonally by two once again. And then we can go down by about three blocks. Like so. Then by two. Diagonally once again. Then here by about four. So we can make that weird L. So one, two, three four then obviously on the fourth one we stick our corner in here two up down diagonally one for that weird l the backwards l when we get we come back up to our like a middle two here drop down by one block like that diagonally drop down and go across by two drop down and go in by one there we have it the markers for our pug so far let's go ahead and fill in the rest of it we need to do is we need to grab our stripped birch wood once again kind of fill in the holes of uh, where we need to where we made our markings out and make sure you get behind the bow don't panic too much if the wood is kind of the wrong way round behind the bow because honestly it's not going to get seen too much so don't panic yourselves too much about that one okay so let's fill in this section obviously nice and slowly behind the bow and then above the bow is kind of where the mouth kind of goes so we need to mark the mouth out in two seconds so like this and there we go let me know in the comments down below guys which type of dog is your favorite type i gotta say i would i would very much love myself a golden retriever i think golden retrievers are the cutest things so awesome and they're very well trained as well like you can get some like the dogs like dogs are such smart animals aren't they insane they're really awesome okay so one more layer guys up to this point here for now Obviously, the entire section can be filled in, but we need to mark out the mouth as well. So, best not to fill it in so you don't have to go destroying things afterwards as well. Alrighty. We're going to take our brown terracotta. We're going to go one in from this two lots of six. Just here, on the bow. We're going to go along one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Up here. And then we're going to go out by two. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Up another one. And then, so we are about here right now. We need to go up one more. Just like that. And the exact same on the opposite side. So up by two, like that. Now we need to get to here, and we go up by about four blocks, I think. So one, two, three, four. Perfect. So one, two, three, four. And then over here, one, that's two, three, four. My bad, almost made a mistake. I think I did make a mistake. Oh, I know what I did. You go up by another one. My bad. So as you can see, we've got the three lots of like the, the steps again. So one, two, three. And then obviously the two at the bottom. And that is where I made my mistake. It's all good if you guys make the same one. You just uh, got to just make sure that it's the same on both sides. And that's symmetrical for his face. So four like that. Then we go out and up one like that. Don't worry about knocking these blocks out because we can fill it all, all in afterwards anyway. Then go up by, diagonally by two. Up diagonally by two. And then up one. Up one. Uh, so up, up one. Up one. Now we're here. We need to go in and fill this up by one, two, three, four, and five. Awesome source. Now we can drop down in this gap and we can put three lots of black concrete, then one like that, like a T. Then we can fill this section in around the T like this, making sure it's nice and filled up. And now I think it's about four block gap. So one, two, th oh, three block gap. My bad, my count is bad, isn't it? <laughs> a three block gap from this point. So uh, one, that we can make that three block gap just there. And then we can drop down, put some black concrete in here. This goes along by three blocks like this. Then we drop down each side by one. We do have to knock the black concrete off. That holds it up for a second. Then we go down diagonally, and then we go along by two on both sides. And now we can fill this entire section in with our brown terracotta. Like so. Making sure this is all filled up to the, the correct amount and uh, making sure this entire kind of mouth section is all filled in. We don't want an empty mouth pug. <laughs> and we're almost complete. If you guys are enjoying the video, by the way, please definitely smash a like. That would be really awesome. Definitely helps the channel out a lot as well. There we have it. Now we have the mouth going for us and the mouth is in the nice sort of shape it's supposed to be. We can actually start to mark out the eyes and the eyes are the cutest part of the build in my opinion. So we need to come to this block just here, so kind of in line with this T. We need to go up by a block there. We can actually put a stripped birch in both of these, so you can help you mark it out. There we go. And then what we need to do is go up by three. We go in a block up by three, or along by three, sorry. Then we go and fill this in with white concrete like that. Then we drop down, put three in there. And then we go into this corner and put three along just there, kind of connecting up to this one over here. There's one eye. Awesome. Now we need to do the exact same over here. Up three and across three on the bottom. Then up by three for this corner. Up by three over here. Then we can stick in our white concrete and then fill this up with black once again. There we have it. And then we can literally just grab our stripped jungle wood and go from this T, like the top of the T just there. Go out a block on either side, like diagonal. Go up to the top of the eyeball, go to this kind of corner here, and you can literally just stick two, like one block, and then two blocks going up like this. Do the same on the opposite side. Don't worry about the wood being a different way for this one either, it doesn't look too bad either way. Now what we can do, literally take our strip birch wood and fill it all the way in, every single hole that's left to be filled up. Obviously, so I'm not going to show you guys obviously how to do that because I'm pretty sure you guys are now to do it and I don't want you guys to get a little bit bored of my just slow building. So <laughs> fill this all up as you can see on the other one and then yeah we're pretty much done. Let's go. Last little section and then we are complete. We have our own little pug. I have no clue what I'm going to call mine. I was thinking last night about calling him Percy. I don't know why. I just feel like Percy is a pug's name. It's kind of cute. <laughs> bit derpy as well. Pretty awesome stuff. Thank you so much once again to Xavman7 for requesting this tutorial. I really do appreciate it, mate. It's been awesome building him. Hopefully, we'll be getting around to doing some more sub requests very soon as well. So, definitely stay tuned for those. Thank you once again for watching, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed this one. If you did, please definitely smash a big like. That'd be awesome. And if you want to subscribe for more Wizards content, please do that as well. That'd be epic. If you would like to know a little bit more about my sponsorship with uh, a company called Fatal Grips, please definitely check out the description too. 
But anyway, have an epic day, guys. Sorry, sorry to hear me blevering on at the end of the video there. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for going to build this as well. Uh, you definitely need to light up your day with a with a good old p a pug in your world. Almost a pig. A good old pug in your world. Have an awesome one. Take it easy. Goodbye for now. Peace out.